Keeping the Edge by Dick Schaff Forward by Carl Albrecht The much-vaunted service revolution seems to have turned into more of a service evolution, notwithstanding all the books, articles, seminars, conferences, and employee training programs, it's hard to say that much of anything has been revolutionized since Service America appeared in 1985. Ten years have passed. Where are we now? There are success stories, to be sure, and we have certainly seen a shift in the rhetoric of business, if not always the action. Many organizations, even government agencies, are making honest efforts to lift their games. The customer is king, in principle at least. But as Dick Schaff's masterful roundup of a wealth of case material shows, while some firms have come a long way in their thinking, others still have far to go. There's plenty in this book to be intrigued with and encouraged by, as well as much to be concerned about. On balance, I'm not sure we've achieved anywhere near the expected benefits implied by the early excitement that followed from Service America. As customers, as well as business people, in these major service economies, can we really say that things are significantly better for us? Have the businesses we patronize and run really learned anything at a deep and profound level? Customer abuse and crazy business policies don't seem to have gone away. For every switched-on, value-creating employee, there seem to be five or ten more who are occupying space. At most, we may be seeing a widening of the gap between the outstanding performers and the also-rans, but the outstanding ones are still in the minority. In some aspects, we may even be regressing. For many firms, cost-cutting and downsizing have virtually wrecked the quality of their customer interface. You can buy a great software product for your computer, but when you get stuck trying to make it work on your machine and dial in for help, expect to sit on terminal hold waiting for a human being who can explain it to you. Despite clear evidence that most people find them offensive, those wretched telephone push-button menu systems seem to be proliferating like some kind of digital cancer. When people ask me to name organizations that are truly outstanding at creating customer value, I find it easier to name those that have had the instinct for it since their creation than to name very many that have recently come into it. And I can name many, too many, that became great or near great and soon lost their edge. So it seems to me that the news from the battlefield of the service revolution, or evolution, is mixed. With the best of intentions, businesses are still struggling to find their... Sample complete. Ready to continue?